I'm now home from my first day of volunteering at Ignite, and it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed seeing you guys, because I haven't seen you guys in forever. Can you believe I've sur survived for this many months, like two or three months, without actually seeing you guys? Be off at Girl Scout camp for the next five hours. Avery, so my challenge to you, since you didn't upload your video on the correct day, or I don't even think you've uploaded one, hmm, you to make a smoothie, and you must use at least like four or five of the following. So, Cheez-Its, donuts, almonds, apple juice or orange juice, some sort of candy, most likely like a Hershey's bar or M&M's, uh, and some sort of grass, from outside, uh, a piece of bacon, or some type of lunch meat. And last but not least, how about something like a vegetable? So you have to be like a mushroom or a bell pepper. Happy tasting! These videos aren't that interesting. Well, I mean, they kind of are because I'm in them all the time. So I have that going for me. Ignite the first half of the day. And then I'm going to be volunteering at Girl Scout camp until like 9 o'clock at night. And then I come home and I don't go to bed until like 10.30. And I am really tired. So normally I take a nap at about this time. That's why there aren't any video clips of me going off somewhere on my summer vacations. But this is a pretty cool one. Here is Camp Burnett. It's where I volunteer for the other half of the day for about the next five hours. And there's about 70 girls. Normally it's upwards of 200 girls. And they just go around and do camp things like I lead them on a hike and we get lost and stuck in quicksand mud. Very fun things like that. I know I'm a great program aide. So anyway, see you later. Hey! Yesterday I took seven sixth grade girls on a hike. And this hike happened to lead into the Bob Jones Nature Center, which is a, a I don't know what, to, a, I guess it's just a nature center in the middle of South Lake. And I didn't realize that Camp Burnett, where we were, was right next to this nature center. Well, anyway, we were walking and there's there like a group of people on horses. And Girl Scouts tend to be really particular about rules and things. Yeah, there's a lot of rules at Girl Scouts. And sometimes it's like, whoa, okay. These girls on a two to three mile hike, and we actually got lost coming back because there's this giant field and a lot of paths and a lot of parts that lead back into the woods. And yeah, I got a little lost, but hey, that's okay. We ended up maybe ten minutes late, but the group leader loves me, and she was like, "Oh, well, Emily, you're so nice." It's like, "Oh, I know I am. Thank you." Well, yeah, basically. <laughs> And one of the girls had to use the bathroom really badly in the middle of the trail. She was like, let me pop a squat, please. I was like, okay, everyone turn around. Yeah. Girl Scout camp. So we're foaming the director's car. <laughs> Do you see the deer? Time, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, run keeper. Average pace, 24 minutes, 53 seconds per mile. Hey, we'll probably get it. Hey, we're rocking. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I am at Girl Scout camp and we have walked almost one full mile in about 20 minutes. We're at Bob Jones Nature Center, and we're not that far away from camp, and we're about to go walk to a lake. Everyone say hi, so that's Morgan, and there's Karen behind me, and Michaela. All right, bye. We made it to Grapevine Lake. That's not the lake in front of me, but this is the Grapevine Lake, and I think it's the Flower Mound side, and we've been walking for about 40-ish minutes. Avery, so we are at Ikea, and behind me is a house that is 270 square feet big. And it's really, really cool how they're fitting houses into smaller and smaller spaces. The last day of camp, I, myself and a few other of the program aides, we went on a approximately 80 minute hike, and we walked three miles, but we walked all the way to Grapevine Lake. And I didn't realize Grapevine Lake was close to camp and we walked and we walked and we came across some people on horses and I got really scared like oh these people could kidnap us and no one would ever know but oh well we just fucked on by and I had a lot of fun I had to
to go to the bathroom in the middle of the hike. I hugged a tree or a bush, but it was tree a tree-sized bush. Did you know that the word cow, when used as a verb, just means to submit to one's wishes by intimidation? Word. Coward. I just figured this out right as I filmed the previous video clip. I was like, oh! Yeah, the little light bulb just kind of turned on. The word that I'm going to leave you with is gay, which is Hindi for cow, and it kind of sounds like guy and cow mixed together. Guy!